Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today to start the second new series this week that I'm going to be doing. Um, this one I'm calling the Five Prompt Weekly Collage Art Series. This was actually originated by Marguerite Miller. Here's her um, website where you can get more information. It's just marguerite.miller.com. And she also has a Facebook group, Vintage Glue Books and Pages. So you can get more information there. But basically what it is, it's every week she comes up with five prompts to do a piece of um, collage art. It's five prompts plus one bonus prompt. And the bonus is if you don't have or don't know what to use, for one of the five prompts, you can switch out for the bonus. So what we're gonna do is I went on and I did the first one. I'm gonna show you that one and go over the prompts and then do another one together. So this is the prompts. It's something that represents time, something that blows in the wind, thread or fabric, something from the recycle bin, and an animal. And then the bonus is the postage stamp. So let me show you first the one I did. So it's something that represents time, and I did a clock. Something that blows in the wind would be the bush. Um, I didn't do the fiber, I switched that for a postage stamp right here. An animal is the reindeer. And something from the recycle bin was a security envelope. I took that apart and used that as part of the background. So that's my five prompts. And I did it on a piece of cardstock scrapbook paper just to have a little something extra on there. So, and all of these things are like your interpretation. You know, something that represents time could be like I chose the, the um, clock, but that could be a date maybe. So everything's just open to interpretation. So I wanna first show you some of the different things you can do them on. You can have a regular glue book, which is basically just a altered book or pretty much a junk journal you can do it on. You could do it on, I did, um, what, what do you call this, coffee dyed index card here. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do mine on now. And then this is just a blank card stock. It's kinda got a distressed look to it. It's just scrapbook paper here. This is just a paper I was playing around with inks, messing with, you could use that. Just plain white card stock. This is a piece of, um, it's a print of some embroidery my mom had done years ago. You could use that. What I'm doing with this one is I'm gonna um, use it on a journal page as either a tuck spot or a pocket. So you could do it, I brought out, I'll do some probably in my journal. This is my journal from Johnny over at the Junk Journal Shop. She's got gorgeous journals. But I, um, I'll probably do a couple pages just in here, just for something different. And then I've also got my soul book. And I do just a lot of different things in here. So I'll probably um, do a page in here. But there are many things that you can do it on. So I hope you will join along and do some with me. Let me know if you're going to. That would be great. So my next one, and what I'll do is come on at least once a week. Um, well, she does a weekly prompt, so I'll do it once a week. Um, and I may come in sporadically, too, and just do some for fun that we can make up ourselves, right? All right, so the next prompt is something fast, 
an eating or cooking utensil, something that starts with the letter K, a piece of washi, and text in a foreign language. And then the bonus would be triangles. So you can switch anything out for that if you'd like. So, let's see, like I said, I'm gonna use the index card. And what I've got, I just have a bin mostly with scraps and junk and all kinds of stuff in here, different papers and magazine cutouts and just, you know, a bunch of whatnot stuff. So I'm gonna see what I can find here. And we will get started. Here's something I could use for the uh, cooking utensils, but actually that's going to be way too big for my card, unless I turn it that way, but I don't think so. So let me see. Well, I'll get the foreign language first. I've got a page from a French book. I'll just get started with this. Cut a piece of this out. So what are y'all all up to today? Anything interesting or fun? stock in our shop last night. So if you'd like to go over and take a look, I've got some really fun things for you. It's nevermorecreation17.com. All kind of goodies. Okay. Make that up too. Oh, and another thing that you can do um, is once you're finished, if you think it might need something else, like here I put a stamp because that seemed so plain right there, but um, the rules say you can put a stamp or some scrapbook paper or what else, one other thing, a sticker found this key. I could use that for the letter K. Oh, what have I got? Got another clock we could use for something fast, or maybe a bird. They fly around pretty fast, right? Still need to find something with cooking or eating. Oh, this is pretty. It's just, it's, I don't know if you could see it very well, but it's a teacup with some roses in it. That might be a possibility. What else? What am I missing? Okay. Well, let's see what we've got here. Do we want to use that? Or do we want the bird in here? Got this key, where can that go? So basically you just play around, I guess, until, I love collaging, but I've never really done this type of collaging. So this should prove interesting. Let's see what we can come up with. Ink around this. And what else? Oh, a piece of washi. I forgot to bring my washi in here, so I guess I'm going to switch the washi for the bonus this time is triangles, so I'll have to make some triangles. What am I going to do with triangles? 
guess I'm going to cut some out. That'll work. Well, it's not a very even triangle, is it? Oh, and another thing that you can do is every week, yeah, that might work. She has, um, she has these prompts numbered, like, let me see, like this first one. It's the first collage of 2020. So you can share it with hashtag 2020C01. So that's the first one of the year. So that'd be fun to, you know, check out everybody else, see what they're doing too. I think this is going to be a fun challenge. I hope you'll join along. What else? The bird. I don't know. What do y'all think? Where can this go? Way. I don't know, something like that. I'm just going to start gluing. Let me get my magazine here so I don't glue all over the desk. And again, I'm just using my Scotch Create. What the heck? That'll work, right? Really no right or wrong, so. Just as long as you like it in the end. I love that paper. That's one of those papers by Antique Papery. Oh, the key. Where is it? Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Let's see. Love this little teacup with the uh, roses. And the bird is my interpretation of something fast. Not 
sure what kind of bird he is, but we're going to call him a fast bird. All right, so there's that. And that is definitely pretty blank right there. So I'm going to, I bought a couple stamps just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of stamps here. Sure, I like those stamps, but that's all okay. All right, so that's it. We've got our five elements. We used four of the original ones and the one bonus, and that's it. So now I can use this either as a journal card, or again, I can put it in a on a journal page as a tuck spot or a pocket. Cool. All right, well, that was fun. I had fun. I hope you did, and I hope you'll join along. So I will see you again in another series. If you like, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Take care. Have fun. Happy crafting.